Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy. Ever have those hunger pains at work, at home, during the day and don't know what to snack on? Andrea Hill this morning is going to tell us what healthy snacks right. we should be snacking on during the day. Right. Do you snack? I snack often. Okay, good. As you can tell. No, well, snacking <laughs> is good. If you're choosing a healthy snack, you're okay. choosing wisely, then a snack can certainly help um, curb the appetite for people out there that are trying to watch their calories, trying to watch that waistline. And it also helps when it comes time for those meals mm -hmm. because you're not so hungry that yes, you're ready starving. to eat the fridge. Yes. Right, right. So that's a snack. And a snack can quite easily pick up where a meal has slacked off, right? So if, for example, you know, your, your, um, the vegetables weren't so great at a meal, you can certainly use a vegetable snack mm -hmm. with some other things and, mm. and, and kind of balance out the day this way as well. Is there a particular time of day that you should actually be snacking or not be snacking? Well, you know what? I think for a lot of people out there, there there's typically that mid-morning time, like 10 to 10.30, and then certainly mid-afternoon after 3 o'clock when that blood sugar dips. Um, so latest by 4 o'clock, these are the two times in the day where I think most people need to be snacking. And especially mm. actually for those people out there that might be working out after work, if they don't snack mid-morning, they are going to be running on fumes by the time they get into their, their cardio mm -hmm. sessions or the, training. The pains or, are going to yeah. be happening. Yeah, and, yeah. Hmm, so, interesting. Okay, yeah. so what we have here. Mm -hmm. They're, these are all good, healthy snacks. Yeah, and these are these are some really easy things that, that people can even keep into their um, their like office stores and stuff. Some of these uh, are non-perishable, um, but but generally the guidelines for choosing a snack are when it comes to women, for example, anywhere between 100 to about 100 and. 50, 180 calories. Mm -hmm. um, for men, anywhere between 150 to about 250, right? Depending on how active you are. Right. And a lot of these actually generally are going to be well under the 250 calorie mark, depending on which ones you're combining together. Now, one thing I, I, I'm wondering, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we want to say, well, if you have the extra, uh, the one with the extra sugar or the high in carb snack mm -hmm. earlier in the day, it's better. Yeah. because you work it is, does that actually is that actually right I, I think there's some truth behind that depending on yeah how, how the rest of your evening goes I mean for a lot of people that are really sedentary after after um, you know from five o'clock on if they're just really laying on the couch then you probably want to have your carbs a little earlier in the day because you're moving more you're using that brain a lot more so you're burning those calories and and um, they're not exactly sitting in the body so getting in you know maybe a carb based snack a little early but if you're like going to the gym mm -hmm. for an after after um, workout after working and, and stuff then you know having some kind of an energy bar could really be suitable and these are actually very delicious I've, I've always actually yeah. snacked on this one and it's to die for. Yeah, I love the Kind Bars because they are natural ingredients. It's also dairy-free and gluten-free for oh, those delicious. out there Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that have allergies. It doesn't have that, extra, that, that aftertaste either. Right, right. So with a lot of these bars, I mean, you're going with at least a minimum of three grams of fiber, under 200 calories, wonderful. Mm -hmm. The tried and true yogurt, I mean, I, I can't say more about how great yogurts are. This is a cow's milk yogurt, and this is actually a goat milk yogurt mm. because there are folks out there that, that can't yeah, tolerate cow cow's milk. milk. Right. And um, Kirk's is great. They've got goat milk yogurt now, and a lot of other dairy alternates yeah, when it comes to yogurt. Mm -hmm. So this is good. You get a little bit of protein, you get a little bit of carb, you get your calcium, mm. wonderful. And sometimes a yogurt can't just stand alone. Sometimes it needs a little bit of help. Fruit, right, right, yeah. right. So when it comes to someone like me, for example, mm -hmm. I'll have my snack, Right. let's say I have my apple, yep. and it just wasn't enough. Yeah, okay, so what, what you're looking at here is just maybe about, like in this case, this looks like about an 80 calorie or so um, um, apple. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we do need a little bit more than 100 calories as a snack. So in a case like this, what I would say is maybe pair it with a protein, mm -hmm. maybe have a cheese stick with it, Delicious. right? Or if you are a nut butter fan like myself, I would just get some almond butter or some natural peanut butter right off the spoon. Oh, love it. With the apple. Delicious. Awesome. Or even just some raw nuts, you know, mm -hmm. like maybe a few pieces of almonds or something with that apple. And that so, works as yeah, well, yeah. So sometimes a pro adding a protein or a fat, a healthy fat in this case, with our um, fruits or our vegetables can really work here. Like carrots, you're going to be, that's not going to last, oh, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. um, but if we were to pair this with maybe a really yummy um, dip like hummus. Delicious. Yeah, uh, this is a chickpea type of dip for mm -hmm. folks out there. Great for fiber as well. So you can do a little bit of a dip ski here. Mm -hmm. Again, I'd say you can pair that as well. 
Um, so lots of ideas here. Some whole grain crackers. These are again a gluten free for those out there that you know have have some sensitivities. Mm -hmm. Great with the hummus. And it's whole grain. It is whole, whole grain. grain. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're learning. I'm learning. You are learning, right? Yes. And some really good granola bars. These ones tend to be high fiber, low sugar. Oh, First ingredient is whole grain on the cashew TLC, mm -hmm. so I really like this one. Okay, so we've talked about all healthy stuff. Yeah. The oh, bad right. ones. Yes. The bad ones. Yeah, so the, so the worst types <sighs> of snacks that people can do are refined things like chocolate bars, potato chips. Mm, the craving. Right, just even having um, just like a fruit drink, like a fruit punch or a coffee, not enough. You're going to be running on fumes with something like that. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you have the coffee, you're going to need your water, so. Yes, you are. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, try some of these snacks. Like I said, a lot of these you can keep in the drawer. They're not going to go bad. And um, put it to the test. See, see how the energy changes. It will. All right. The energy will change when you eat healthy. That's right. Don't forget. Great. Thanks again for having us here at Kirk Supermarket. Thanks, Delisa. And I hope everyone's learned something here on Healthy Living with Andrea Hill. Thank you, and thank you for tuning in. There's more Daybreak coming up. Stay with us. Live Healthy is brought to you by Kirk Supermarket and Pharmacy.